Hello, my name is Nigel Cox, Senior Horticultural Lecturer at Bridgewater and Taunton College. Now, I'm a passionate believer in not using chemicals to kill pests. And I swear by uh, a garlic spray that I've uh, used now for the last year, and it's really good for aphids, white fly, and spider mites. So I'm going to give you a brief recipe of how to make a simple garlic spray. What do you need? Well, you need a clove of garlic, or at least probably four cloves of garlic, some vegetable oil or olive oil, some soap or fairy liquid. I reuse an old spray container which I've used previously for cleaning materials. And water, simple as that. So what you do is you take four cloves of garlic. So try and find a nice healthy clove of uh, garlic bulb with lots of big cloves. Four, you can put six in if you like. And put those into a bowl and then mash them up. Mash them up so that they're, they're in a sort of squidgy mess. Now then, what I would do is I'd add a pint of lukewarm water to the garlic. And that's basically it. Now to add a little bit of zing to mine, I also add a couple of Scotch bonnet chilies, um, which seems to make an additional um, impact on some other pests, such as caterpillars, for example. I found it's quite useful on cabbage white. So you add the water to the mashed up garlic and mashed up chilies. If you're using those, please make sure you wear gloves because obviously they will, will tingle a bit on your fingers otherwise. I'm not wearing gloves, but uh, I expect I shall have tingly fingers later on. Now then you leave it somewhere for about 24 hours. Now a word of warning, I suggest you put it somewhere like in the greenhouse or a shed or outside or in the garage because it does start to develop quite a powerful odour over the space of 24 hours. Now at the end of 24 hours, then all you've got to do is sieve this out to remove all the bits and you're left with a liquid. Now what I do with that then is I just add a couple of drops of olive oil or other oil now the reason for that is it helps it to stick to the leaves and to the little pests. And I also add a couple of drops of fairy liquid or other uh, soap, uh, liquid soap. And that's your mix. And then decant it out into a spray like this and spray away. And you will find that it's very effective, as I say, on aphids, spider mite, white fly. And with the addition of that little zing of the chili, I found it's also quite effective now on the cabbage white butterfly larvae. So this is a great way of avoiding using nasty chemicals in your garden, but controlling your pests at the same time. Have a great day and enjoy your gardening.